jam, dude. I think. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it, yeah. Uh, who's, who's your bet on first corporation to have a Kwanzaa commercial this year? I'm going Lexus. Lexus is a good choice. Um, I don't know. I th- <laughs> That's going to seem almost Come like... Come down for the Kwanzaa celebration at Lexus. First comp... Who's I was wondering it? about that because, yeah, everyone's been kind of like laughing about Kwanzaa pretty no. much forever. Yeah, everybody's... <laughs> everybody. even, black, even black people are like, Jesus Christ, man. No, Kwanzaa's about to... This Kwanzaa's going to pop for sure. Kwanzaa's popping this year. It better be White Santa Claus on Kwanzaa, bro. I'm going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> True. I don't know if they, they have, don't have Santa, Santa Claus. They don't have Santa Claus. I'm kidding. They have like a fruit wreath. A cornucopia? think that's what's there hook us up here there's also a kwanzaa candle like you know how jewish people have a candle kwanzaa we have one for kwanzaa there's seven days uh yeah. you guys appropriated a little bit you know a little appropriation <laughs> <laughs> yeah but no you guys were the true original chosen people yeah we were the uh we're the asiatic black men yeah yes. yeah <laughs> please become a black Israel, <laughs> fucking please you're close i know you're close lamar is close true lamar would you say you're close? Yeah, I feel like black conservatives are just one ancient aliens episode away from becoming a black Israelite. <laughs> <laughs> they That's are, all it dude. takes. They are. If you're like, no, look at the FBI crime statistics and they show you the Anunnaki, and you're like, hold up. <laughs> hold up. I think there's more <laughs> to this. Than that part. <laughs> I think it matched your Pichu. <laughs> God damn it, that was a bad voice. I apologize. <laughs> That was a bad voice. I was doing a bit. <laughs> no, dude, you thought that, dude. I so did therefore... think it and made fun of it. So therefore, I believe in it. True. You should get real Descartes on everybody and be like, I have two minds. One's my rational mind. The yes. other's of the spirit. Yeah, man, we're losing our minds, man. We don't have religion. We don't have really kind of any sort of dedicated thought system. And people are just pouring themselves into like a uh, this weird utopia vision that's just eating itself alive, dude. You know, it's whatever. It'll, you know, it'll stop. Yeah. The dust will settle on this and, you know, people will be like, yeah, that was fucking weird. <laughs> the same thing, dude, with during yeah. McCarthyism, same fucking thing. People yeah. be like, uh, well, I don't want to even be perceived as a communist. Therefore, I'll do this. And, yeah. you know, everyone chilled the fuck out. And it was just like, oh, yeah, that's the thing, too. It's like right now it's set up where it's like a, a binary opposition thing where it's like I'm on this side or that side. There needs to be <laughs> so tr- Trump keeps trying to claim the silent majority is like for him. And it's like, no, dude, yeah. no. But there needs to be a third group of people who will be like, you guys are both ridiculous. You have to stop this shit. But everyone's so fucking scared to do it because now there's like – They can pull Me people's jobs. Me and O'Connor's gotten a fight about that. What? We were in the car for a while. And O'Connor's didn't snap on me once during the trip. But then we were driving. It was late last night. We were, yeah, last night. We drove after the Sunday show. Mm-hmm. No, it was, but the, today's Tuesday. Yeah. All right. So Sunday night after the show, we drove as far as we could. And just while we were driving, I was like, I said something about the Democrats trying to ruin something. Yeah. Just to him. Sure. I was like, the Dems are trying to get in the fucking way of this. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, you think I fucking, <laughs> I was like, you're going to vote for Biden, dude. And it just absolute fight for like th- two hours. What did he think you were accusing him of? Uh, he was like, I'm so sick of this bullshit. Like right when I said it, I was like, Oh, oh I fucking got him. He got fired up. Cause Call he's him party dem. He, yeah, I keep calling him party dem. And he was calling me basically a coward for saying neither. It's pretty good. No, that's what I'm And I was like, I don't know. I, I don't want to give my vote to either of these. They both seem the exact same to me. That, that was whole... like, they're not the same. Democrats are better. I was like, I don't think, I think they're equal. Yeah, that's weird, too. That whole thing of, like, well, if you don't vote for anybody, you're just voting for Trump. It's like, am I? Mm-mm. Am I really? It's fine. No. I, I, that's to- I totally reject that, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's bullshit. And it, and we're in the car, and he's like, well, you love Trump. And I'm like, you know I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you know I don't. <laughs> I literally laugh. Like, he is hilarious. <laughs> well played. Yeah. Like, you love Trump. Yeah, and I was like, well, like you're going to vote for Biden. Like, I know one of us are going to vote. Yeah. But. Yeah, well, you know. That sparked a riot. That was a, that was a long guys are fighting yeah i like genuinely felt bad for six really he just had to sit in the back and listen to that birthday boy too he's the birthday boy dude, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that story cracked me the fuck up man yeah that's funny of the bees getting heckled the bees got heckled fuck, got that's fired so up. fucking funny yeah someone heckled my wife uh, some like telemarketer heckled my wife they called and they were like it, it was <laughs> this dude called and was like um yes ma'am uh i i need 
she, she hit her with some sort of like crazy, almost like asking her like social off the bat. It was like the worst fucking scam in the yeah. world. And she was like, oh, are you ready? And she was like, zero, 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 zero. And he's like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly like fucking. Yeah. Oh, so, no, you know what? It was, no, I actually got that completely wrong. She goes, he's like, hi, uh, may I speak to blah, blah, blah. And she was like, who's calling? And she was like, I, I want to, what is your name? And she's like, what's your name? And he's like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> like, clearly it's a fucking scam. Oh, that reminds me. There was a, there was a professor that got in trouble because there was a, oh, fuck, I remember, I forget what school it was at. Or if it's even real. But uh, I think it's real. This, there was a, I believe, Vietnamese student whose name was fuck boy okay fair that enough. was like their first name mm-hmm. or the, you know and uh the professor emailed them and was like do you mind uh anglo anglo ang anglicizing anglicizing yeah that name out of fuck boy from fuck boy and of course he got he got fucking trounced for that anglicizing is a bad anglicizing right. i mean as a fucking dude you work at the university yeah. and you're gonna fucking email somebody and be like wake that you, up why don't you make that white yeah. And then his, his response was, I don't want to be like, he's like, it would be embarrassing for you and for me to have to do roll call. <laughs> it was like, dude, just take the L on the fucking roll call. Yeah. Or just email the dude. Be like, bro, how the fuck? Or you can really Google that name. Any name I don't know, I just Google how to pronounce it and it pops right up. I think it's Fook Boy. Fook Boy? Dude, you're fine. Just say it. I'm just gonna All go. you got to do is go, quit laughing. Not, dude, Not laughing. I would. Uh, Who's laughing? When I was working in the charter school last year, like for my last field placement, there there was names I, I just didn't know how to pronounce. It never came into yeah. my like universe of names. So I would just fire at the hip and be like, I would try them out. Oh, you were taking shots. I would just take shots. I would Google how to pronounce. And then if I like, if it, Google, there wasn't a consensus, I'd be like, fuck it, I'm going to go. And then you'd have teachers who would be like, who would call me off on like an app. Like say it was like, you know, I'm trying to think of a, definitely a name I didn't use. But say it was like uh, Deshaun and it's like Deshaun. It's like. They would like call and my like, guard. Thanks for the, but they, they would come at me like mad. And I'm like, bro, yeah. how the fuck? I'm guessing. I'm fucking totally guessing here. I'm in yeah. the dark. I can't. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. And they'd be like, fuck you, dude. And it's like, bro, I'm I'm taking a shot, dude. Yeah, that's weird. I've I, like when I was in Spain, they not not one person there could say Shane. No, I was never like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, people constantly fuck up my last name too. I'm like my cluster. And I'm not like, excuse me. Uh, the so. name of the kid was Fook Boy DM Win, and the uh, professor asked to, asked them to anglicize it because it sounds like an insult. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he fucked up. How old is this guy? Nah, I don't, I don't no, even know. No, we don't even need. Is probably a geese? It sounds like a definite. I mean, geese. between between the cancel culture and COVID, the geezers are and they're geese. hitting a fiery apocalypse, dude. Yeah. Between being like, hold up, what? I can't say, huh? And they're like, <coughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's bullshit. Yeah, you see D.L. Hewlett. No, what? He f- fainted doing stand-up. He, like, passed out. And then, first off, D- Lemare, you saw it? Uh, I, I heard the story. Oh, you didn't see the clip? Dude, they literally rush him out. Like, three dudes come up and pull him off stage. Like, it literally looked like a presidential assassination. Like, he, like, fainted. And, like, three dudes came up and, like, bullied him, pulled him off stage. It turns out he had COVID. Oh, for real? Yeah. What? Yeah. You can faint from COVID? I'm sure he just probably, probably just fainted, but then they checked him out. Yeah, COVID. Yeah. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, and all these, dude, you just got to see the footage of him getting yanked off. It's pretty great. They, like, went secret service on him? Yeah. It was great. I was like, what did they do? Just, like, just let him lay. <laughs> yeah, are you supposed to give them? <laughs> them off. Are you supposed to give them air? Yes. But it was funny, too, because anytime a comedian, like, fucks it, like, does that on stage, yeah. everybody laughs at first. True. So he like started to faint, and people were like, ha, ha, ha. And, then he's like <laughs> and then he got pulled off stage, and then they were like, he had COVID. Everybody that was at this show is dead. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, it was pretty sick. Yeah, man. I, I just, I mean, dude, uh, Philadelphia goes green, meaning like it's a go on July 11th. Damn. So it's gonna be so fucking nuts, man. Damn. I can't wait to enjoy. It. I'm gonna like go to yoga class. There's gonna be like four people there. It's gonna be awesome. I'm going. I'm- Uncle's driveway, and then he, but they start hiring private investigators. So they'll just, they'll hire a PI and they'll just yeah. fucking nail you, which is a sick, that's a sick part of private investigative work. 
Yeah, basically just fi- dudes will park in a like church a parking guy. lot. Yeah, you, far- you just park in like a church parking lot. Yeah. You just watch this guy for like a week. It's so easy to catch him. You just chill yeah, in his you're house. Yeah, you a P.I. Briefly. And I only, I only got, I have only I literally. I forgot you are a P.I. What I, happened as a private eye? One day you're in the field. Agent, I had man. one day in the field, dude. What was the field like? Huh? Did you still have it? I'm going to flash the badge on you, brother. <laughs> Where is it? Certifies that Matt McCuster is a private investigator. Holy shit, it's your top card? Yeah, brother. Come on, man. <laughs> I could be watching you for all you know, dude. I could be undercover this whole fucking time. God damn. Yeah, man, I'm a motherfucking private eye. What are you going to do about it? It's so funny you kept this. Ah, uh, dude, I, it's my, that's the absolute treasure of my wallet. I love busting that it's out on people. Piece of paper. Now, because I can't. Don't show it because it's actually like <laughs> it's clearly <laughs> shitty. You're not supposed to. Be. You are a licensed private investigator. Hey, man, the power was given to According me. According to this, the power was given to so me. So, what was your investigate? Oh, very solemn photo, dude. You're ready to. Investigate. I was a fucking bi. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that was my private. I was a private investigator, dude. I was in it. I what thought I'd be so good at it. You would be. Dude, it, honestly, be good. I sat in a parking lot outside of, I, I, it might have been a factory or some industrial setting, and they gave me in like the winter time, <laughs> like a grainy photo of a black guy, and I had to like sit there all day and look at every black guy and Sorry, see if it was the guy. Yeah. It was the it was crazy. What were you investigating him for? I have no idea. I think it was probably some bullshit of like car stuff or yeah, yeah. some, it was some stupid low level thing, like car or this or that i had to like see i had to verify that this dude worked at this place and they could like yeah start following from here to somewhere else and i dude it was like dudes are so bundled up and i had this granny photo and i was just staring at black guys all day being like is, is this you <laughs> <laughs> and that was it and i kept being like i i think i see him it, dude and i started getting i was like all right I'm going to take a little break and read for a little bit. And like, I would, Fuck. I, as soon as you, because you have to like be eyes peeled at all yeah. times. And I just took one little break. And then I was like, that he turned probably out, left. That turned into like, I'll see. You. I'll like catch him out of my peripheral and like look up. Yeah, and I, I like just zoned out. <laughs> yeah. And I had to call the dude and be like, yo, I really appreciate you giving me a shot of this, but I can't, I'm not good at this at all. I had to tell him like, I just, um, that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, Usually man. I would blame the job. Yeah. Yeah. I would never be like, I'm not good enough. Yeah, well, I, I like wanted like, to do good. I can't good. do this. This, this was sucks. like the part of my life where I was like, yo, this could be the thing, dude. I could be a fucking nasty private eye. And I got sent on just like, damn, get a trench coat and a big hat. <laughs> yeah, dude. Have ladies yeah. pull the blinds ladies out of my come office. Come into your office while you're at the typewriter. Yeah. Very noir. I thought I was going to live the noir yeah. life. Yeah. It turns out I was noir. so bored, dude. I had no partner. If I had a partner, I could have done it. I mean, like, throw like some coffee down on the dash. Yeah. And like, God damn. Yeah, you sleep this turn off, but it was just me in my fucking car. partner would have helped a lot. Partner would have been nasty. Although sitting in a car for the, just waiting, dude, you're just staring while guys inside just jacking off, taking a nap. <clears throat> yeah, and this was outside of a workplace, so I had to like sit there, and then like people start kind of like looking at your car. So then I would move, and then I'm like, oh, I moved too much, and I move <laughs> back, and it was like I just was not you good. Move, you circle the block. <laughs> yeah. I parked here, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of obvious. Yeah, and I just sit in my car. And it, Were you listening to the tunes? Probably, but then it was like I was worried about my car battery, so like I have to like conserve gas, conserve battery. So a lot of it was just me staring into a parking lot, and I'd be like, "Oh, a black guy," and I'd go, "I honestly cannot tell. I honestly couldn't tell you because everyone was like hats, sure, gloves bundled up, and it was just like I was like, I think that guy. I think I I think there. I think there. I've seen this guy five times. It would be fun (laughs) to catch a dude cheating." That was your wife nasty. cheating. That'd be so hot, dude. Oh my! That's I thought I was gonna be doing like exciting shit, like following people, tail. Yeah. I was ready to tail, but I get it. I had to be trained, and I just you know I, I didn't have it in me. I was like, bro, I tailing wish someone I, would be fun. The what? Tailing someone would be fun. Tailing someone. I could. I thought I'd be good at that. Yeah, but dude, I would. Uh, yeah, that catching would be, a lady cheating would be so sexual. Or double agent catch a dude cheating and go, yo, brother. Yeah. Just so you know. Bust out the bag, Holmes, because yeah. I'd hate to see your shit get blown up. Yeah, you get Bust sucked out. in the fucking face. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Leave him a card to say, yo, call me. Yeah. You want the deets and go, brother, I know what you're doing down there, the Golden Nugget. Yeah. How about we fix this? I could just destroy all this evidence. I can disappear. I can destroy. Go and double agent on a cheating, dude. Yeah, you could get That fun. must happen all the time. It's got it, dude. Yeah, just extort some guy. You're a pri- those private eyes... You know, they're typically using police databases, too. It's usually it's retired cops. They're like, yo, what's up with this guy? And they're like, yeah. here's the full readout. So you're like, okay, cool. Yeah. You can be like, all right, I see you have X, Y, and Z. You can fully be like, brother. Yeah, it's pretty tight, actually. That is tight. I, I think I worked for a clean PI, though. I don't think he did yeah. that. I think he just served the client. The client was done. That's it. Because you could, you could get fucked. I mean, you can get into blackmail, basically. Yeah. Or just be like, it's not blackmail to be like, bro, 
I'm not going to show your wife this shit. Just hook me up a little bit. Yeah. I'm burning. You can say, bro, here's the thing. Give me a hundred bucks. Toss me a couple of G's, brother. Just, you know what I mean? She said, just so you know, she's kind of on your case. And then if they go, I'm not fucking paying you. Go, dumbass, I make coffees. You're fucked. Yeah, sorry. Just drive right back. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I'm not black. That's also you. how you get killed, too. Yeah. True. <laughs> True, yeah. You, 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 you get shot in the fucking head. Yeah, man. It's a dangerous life. It is a dangerous life. Catching the wives would be sweet. Big like, bro. Ooh. You already know what time it is. That bitch is a motherfucking hoe, dude. Yeah. Caught her hoeing ass fucking down there at a the club. Kissing some software and kissing a fucking dork at the fucking <laughs> club. Caught her down at the fucking just some dude, some chain. <laughs> You're at like a outdoor mall yeah. chain, like a Carabas, just fucking hugging a guy. Follow her, in, just follow her into the Carabas. <laughs> sit down, get hammered. Just hugging a music <laughs> teacher. A music teacher's been fucking nice to her for uh, two years. Now she kissed sucker. him. Son of a bitch. I I can be fucked up. What really hurt me was I was. In my head, I was thinking half a gram, which I take that all the time, and it took a gram by accident. Of mushrooms. Of mushrooms. Microdose. So instead of took two pills, I took four. I don't know what made me took four. Yeah. On that day, I got ballsy. <laughs> Out of all the days <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, there, yeah. because half a gram is nothing. I do my 13 miles on it. I'm fine. I go. You'll, you'll train. You'll train on. Only running or surfing. I don't. Anything related to fighting. I don't do it high. Why not? Because I'm not going to fight high. Yeah. All my, You're my, afraid of what could happen? <laughs> no. I mean, I spar <laughs> few times high. Yeah. But the reason I don't like it is because most of the time make me feel better than not. But I'm not going to fight high. So yeah, I just yeah, try yeah. to keep it the way it's going to be. Yeah. When, when Bisping took us to Ruka, I brought Diego. And Diego sparred with Cheeto. Oh. And Cheeto fucked him up. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it was fucking wild. So he's saying... But Diego, yeah. Diego's pretty Diego, good. He's a, yeah. he's a tough guy, but check this out. He came at the cage and just told us, like, hey, I want to spar. And Oh, you remember this? Yeah, I remember that. And Parilla was like, wrong people. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> gear up. Yeah. But I mean, for him, what a cool experience. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, literally. That he, motherfucker can take a punch. He can take I'm a punch. Oh, yeah, really? he, he's I was a, cracking him. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't being 100% a dick, but I was yeah. touching him. Where's Diego from? Uh, Florida. No, what's his? Oh, a Colombian. He's Colombian. Yeah, redheaded Colombian. Yeah, <coughs> that's a weird mix. Yeah. Yeah. Roja. Yeah. He was probably mixed with a cow or something. You got like that, that right, <laughs> right? Wasn't that right? Pele Roja. Pele Roja. Yeah. <coughs> he's, probably, he's probably half human, half cow. Damn, I'm fucking jealous. <laughs> From the mountains. <laughs> there's, no, there's no gingers in South America. Yeah. I don't know if I met a ginger growing up. Yeah, we don't got the gin out there. It's weird yeah. people. Weird people. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a ginger Cheeto. You got a little Cheeto in there. Yeah, I see. Yeah. That. When I leave the mustache on, longer yeah. hair, let me see. Yeah, you can be my ginger algorithm. <laughs> you guys should spar. <laughs> you should see who's powerful. But, but check this out. The way, the way that happened was like. He was a I wrestler. Was, yeah, he yeah, can wrestle. I'm, I don't really defend takers. I already grapple. But wrestling is a very important thing. To have, I'm guessing, but that day, <laughs> so I'm guessing, <laughs> not like you need to rest, right? Yeah. But we're we're hitting meat. That it wasn't a sporting day, yeah. And these guys were like, you know, fucking around. Bisping was there, and he literally walked to the cage with gloves, shingles, and a headgear. It's like, yo, you want to give me a run? And I was like, I'm always kind of like, yeah, as coach, yeah, I act pretty good in the gym, and part of one come up. <laughs> Ooh. You just asked the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then Bisping put me down with a body shot, like oh, just fuck, dude. Like what are you at, doing? Like at will, like he was just like he was like, watch this, guys. <laughs> 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 hey, it felt that, like I was shot with a shotgun, day, dude. When I was done sparring, Bisping was like, "Hey, man, give me a round, like touching, right?" Yeah, I'm punching in the air. I'm not even when I get close to him. He was sipping punches. I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck?" He's like, "Don't be a fucking bitch. I'm not punching you." I'm like. Yeah, it says it's 220. Like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Bisping, and then, um, what's his name? Luke Rockhold will be training there as well. And Luke and Bisping always had, like, you know, obviously because Bisping gets for weird. the title. But they they would, like, kind of, like, just, like, alpha, like, energy and kind of, like, look at each other weird. God and fucking, then one day they were just, like, we were there. They were, like, let's just have a grappling match. And they just went fucking hard, just rolling around, like, wow. on the mats and, like, such a 
Yeah, what a what a cool like a, a really cool gym. One of the coolest yeah, gyms I've ever been that's to. That's a cool gym. Yeah, yeah it's Rickers gone Sports. now, but oh, they closed it down. They closed it down, but they're making something better. Um, right now, it will it, it be ready soon. Yeah, when those two are wearing the gym, is scary because two big guys both think they won because they actually won one a piece. It's like uh, if they fight, I wouldn't separate yeah. it. They're too big. I'm gonna kill each other. Yeah. But the person <laughs> like beast, we got like twenty fake. Everything he got a fake arm, fake leg, fake yeah, knees. Thinking, yeah. It's a half robotic. <laughs> he's, yeah, you know, like Robo, yeah. Robo, Robocop. Yeah, he's like he's getting there. Yeah, it's almost not fair. Yeah, he's more he's more yeah. fucking cyborg he's than machine. human at this point. He got two fucking metal knees, yeah. titanium, so a little cooler. He got, I think, both shoulders, neck. He won the title with one eye. Yeah. It's bonkers. Yeah, it's bonkers. The whole like, story is fucking blind. crazy. I went to do, I went, I drove with Vegas once with him and his bad eyes is uh, the left one. So when he's driving, no, no, the right <laughs> one. So when he's driving, he's like, hey, mate, there's cars coming that way. And, I said, <laughs> and he was fucking going fast. And, and I was like, yo, when you came by yourself, you fucking got to go like all the way like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I say one line. I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> Every time he emerges, you're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Few times I saw like the you know with, with the big cars are like honking like woo, woo. I was like yo 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 no 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 stop stop it's like what man ah oh, it was fine zoom I was like ah one time and ever no more I say I ain't yeah. driving with you at all <laughs> you're missing one eye yeah you're one eye away to don't see nothing <laughs> <laughs> all it is is one little fucking dust bunny yeah, giving the other eye it's, it's over he's it's just bro. <laughs> being blind is scary. That's why that motherfucker is that tough. Being, yeah. a, being just think, close your eyes, and that's your new now. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. that's that's a sketchy. That is fucking gay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, it was There's no two it, ways about it. Brother. There was part of me being like, I was because in my head I had constructed this whole thing that was like, yeah, this shit is like an evil enterprise. But I was like, hey, if the girls are in charge of it, that's not bad. They're you yeah. know the girls are doing good on it, and then you watch it and be like, some of it's actually kind of tight. Then you go. So yeah, women came up with this one. Oh, the fuck, it's not that different, honestly. Maybe it's more focused on the guy. Focuses a lot on the guy. No, they don't. They actually don't. They don't, dude. Shane, they don't. I'm telling you, they don't. I've fallen into your traps before with the porn. <laughs> <It's just> a- <laughs> he's, I fucking listen. He's talking to me about how great T porn is. I was like, all right, I'll fucking give it a it's shot. Not even great. It what is that? It's the ring. Tranny, Tranny porn. porn. It's oh, the ring. Okay. It was hell. It's the ring, dude. dude. No, it's not even good. You, you put the ring on, you go. No, I put it on. What the fuck thing. is this? I turned <laughs> it off. You took the ring. You might be the ring bearer. I took the ring right. You're the only one I who carried the ring. The ring. Yeah, <laughs> I look at it. Ring. I go, Everyone puts the ring on. You go, that's a babe. There's something about this I like. No, it was not. You take I, the ring off and you go, oh my it's God, not, what have I it, done? I'm, I got to find. I, that was my problem. <laughs> the I, city lies smoking. You take the ring off and you go, oh <laughs> God, <laughs> almighty. Yeah. yeah, I watched. I've, I've talked about it before. I watched the one. The one. Was it was just clear? You can see the dudes fucking the. And sorry, the yeah, for sure. They is fucking clavicle while they were fucking. And I was yeah, just like, get those what the fuck? Got to get those removed. Yeah, got to get half your skeleton taken out, please. Yeah. Remove your skeleton. <laughs> if I'm gonna jack off to you, I want some bones missing. Yeah, but no, that's yeah. That just become that becomes a weird feedback loop where you just start going like, this is so fucked up. And then after, yeah. like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What the fuck. Yeah, but but you know I, I've gotten over. I processed a lot of that stuff of just like yeah, dude, it's just coming. It's no big deal. The yeah. Leaves got to fall every winter time. You got to just keep squirting crap out of your body and, and exciting yourself enough to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's but, very easy to excite yourself like that. It is. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of you know, world's your oyster these days. But yeah, dude, world's I just like yeah, dude, I, I get spun out on being a porn dad, dude. It's like you you keep gotta keep it tight, dude. Every dad's a porn dad, dude. I guess Every that's the new, that's the new dad reality. Is a porn dad. That's the new reality. Yes. Yeah, we got to keep it gentlemanly, dude. Yes, you can't be like that. Can't be like you're fucking. You're a killer. Yeah, as long seal. as you don't have a stash, a physical stash of pern, you're True. fine. You're right. Yeah, you're good. But then there's you have the a phone. fucking cardboard box of DVDs but, and magazines. Yeah, but then the, our, our version of that is being like you're sitting there and they're like, "Sweetie, pull up the tickets for this thing," and you're like, you bust out the private search and you're like. Whoa, that's fucking weird. Yeah. That on. Yeah. Your kid's playing with your fucking iPad. That's exactly. Yeah. yeah they see this. Or, yeah. Best case scenario is, because then you can have that. You fucking leave the video up. But that was the big thing, too. I'd be like, pull out my phone and be like, oh my God, I didn't close that out. Oh, yeah. That happens. 
Yeah. Now, the last thing I was searching was Michigan football. <laughs> I was jacking off to that. I was going, please. But, you know, you are right. It's not a humongous deal. I just, you know, I just always think about something. I don't even that. think it's a in any way a deal. Yeah, true. Although, it, I don't know. It depends. Because it, it seems like you're, like, slinking off to a bathroom to do it. That's yeah. that's where it gets a little. Respectfully. Yeah. You know? It's not. It's really not a huge deal. It's not like if I, I've been caught fapping multiple times. Yeah. And it's just, like, kind of laughing. So it's not that the stakes aren't that high, but it's one of those things. Where yeah, like, your woman wouldn't care. She doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, she's caught me. She when she imitates the seated portion or the seated position, she caught me in a, on the edge. Oh, of the you bed. didn't lock the door. You were. I was on the edge. Of the, this is when we first started dating. I was like at her apartment. She went to work, and I was just jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting on the edge of the bed, just going, "I'm working." <laughs> and she, I'm busy. Don't come in here. I'm, she, I'm working she, on my studies. She watched me for a while, being like, "I guess he's just like meditating or something." So I was just sitting there, just going. And she, then she said she saw me looking at the phone and my shoulder moving. She's like, oh, he's jerking off. And I was like, fuck, dude. Damn. <laughs> it was like months into us dating. From, That's tough. From what I remember. That is a tough one. I just walked it off. I said, hey, man. Hey, yeah. I was fucking I Randy. don't think I've ever been caught. Oh, I've been caught so many times. I've been like, there's been like, I'm going to, there's been times where I'm like, I'm sleeping on the couch. Uh, she yeah. comes out and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you don't want to have sex? Like, fine, I'll have sex. Yeah, be was, quick. I'm about to come right now. <laughs> I'm about to come, so hurry up. <laughs> yeah, getting busted. I might start setting up like, like little traps and start getting busted more and more. And be like, well, I'm hard. Do you want to? True. It does not work though. It is no, not. No, I think it is repulsive. Dude, she mimicked the seated position. She's like, I saw you like this, and I was yeah. like, don't ever make that. Don't sit like that ever again. Yeah, I caught my buddy in a seated position once, and it was. Yeah, I still think about it. It's such what a face goblin. He was making. It's was, such was, a goblin hunt. Yep. You know, Elvis curled <laughs> lip. <laughs> Down dog. <laughs> so yeah, that's you know again totally fine, obviously, but you know I've I've eased up on it big time, and it was sick to be like, dude, I'm gonna be the dude who beat defeats porn. I made the hardest effort, dude. Dude, I made the, make like months. covenants with God. I did, and still jack off. I made more of a salt covenant, and it was kind. Of, I was like, that is a cool idea of like swearing a thing off forever. And I wasn't really so much worried about like cosmic retribution for breaking it, but I was yeah. like, dude, if I could be the dude who defeats porn. That would be nasty. I fell, dude. It it becomes all for me. Becomes if like if I'm off of it, off of it, it becomes all encompassing. You can go months yeah. like a heroin addict. I'll always think about it. It's time for bed. I've had a little too much caffeine. I can't really sleep. But it, but if I were to take the edge off, I could probably pass out. What you want me to do? I'm just trying to get a good eight hours. <laughs> you're you're as God made you. Not true. What can you do? Falling. You haven't fallen. Don't talk to fucking Kellogg about this. He'd be true, cool. dude. You gotta corn. get some Kellogg's. He snapped the cornflakes right out of my Get some cornflakes. <laughs> Isn't their logo a cock? True. It's, it's the rooster. rooster. Yeah. Holy shit. You're right about that. He Texas. was probably. It was Cheeto Vera and Luis J. Gomez and all Hispanic episode. Fuck. La Migra's gonna come pick us up here. Huh? Yeah, we need La Migra to get us. <laughs> what? Not you. Me come and on, Luis. Come on, come on. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not a very good Hispanic. I, I I don't speak Spanish at all. I mean, I can say like three things. I can say uh, "Dame la leche." Give me the milk. That yeah, was but, really gay the way that I looked. Yeah. I looked him right in the don't eyes. <laughs> I'm like, don't, if you say that to a man, he's like, bro, you're fucking sucking something. Well, you know that, what I'm saying? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess if you say "Give me the milk," give me the milk. Give me the milk in contact. English is gay. <laughs> yeah, but not too, but in Spanish, it's super gay. It's really? gay. In Spanish, like you actually suck if you say that. <laughs> Unless unless you ask your unless you ask your mom like hey mom please can I get I don't know but even then you don't the say the milk it. yeah you say look it down <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah and then uh, I can uh, why I do you can, know the gay phrase uh, it's not gay I just know how to say milk <laughs> I know how to say dame la dame la dame, pluma uh, yeah dame yeah, la pencil. that's a pen right yeah dame la uh, cabeza give me some head yeah <laughs> right oh, do yeah. you say cabeza for head? no. No. Chupalo or chupamela. Like Dame la chupela. <laughs> How do you say give me some head? Me la puedes chupar. Can you suck it? Please. I will say please. <laughs> please. You say please. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> you gotta say please. You're a caballero. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Oh shit. Dude. He's viviendo en España para seis meses. Oh, you? Oh, good. Sí, you're fluid. In Madrid. Oh, in el norte, deal. in Madrid. Sorry, dude. I don't know what the fuck you just said. That just that that blew my mind, dude. That was crazy. And sounds pretty Spanish. It doesn't even sound like an accent. 
I got there and all I knew was a uh, sp- Mexican accent. And they speak not even close. Like, yeah, it's like, not at all. It's like going to Australia. You were doing like the, the sleepy mouse from the cartoons? Yeah, I was like, oh, I mean, I need a hotel. A hotel was all I could say. <laughs> yeah. I, thought, I thought I knew Spanish. I was like, I know Spanish pretty well. I got down there. They would talk to me. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, 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 the dialects are fully opposite in every single yeah. Spanish country. I and mean, there's not even a close speaking country. Like you can if you're a Spanish person, you will understand everything, but they have little words for everything. Yeah. And they all mean something else. What is what is something like because we were talking before we got on, you know, obviously Cheeto's a fucking professional fighter. You're bad. Yeah. But certain fighter there's fighters that are like athletes that kind of carry themselves buttoned up and kind of like, you know. This is my job. And then there's guys who are a fucking fighter. You come off like a fighter. You come off like a guy who, like, you don't want to get on your bad side. Like, you're yeah. fucking ready to throw down if somebody says some shit. What is some shit in Spanish that if somebody says to you in Spanish, we're like, that is fucking disrespect. And that's it. It's on. I mean, when you grow up as a kid, like, if somebody goes, like, chucha de tu madre, which means your mom's the pussy, pussy. your mom's pussy. Yeah. That's like, like, you, you're, you, you teach as a little kid. Yo, somebody, anybody can say fuck you or you're an asshole or whatever but somebody says that and you're swinging yeah you so it's like fuck. your n-word is your mom's <laughs> pussy, your mom's <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Pre- that's our n-word yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's all right but we don't cancel any words out there yeah ever until today i haven't heard of one spanish word that is like you can say it. you can go you can go online and go bananas and you're cool <laughs> yeah but the thing is like they're giving the power to the words with fuck with the word. It's yeah, not of the course. Word. The word means nothing. Yeah. I My, mean, un- unless you are a real piece of shit, but I haven't met one yet. Yeah. What What happens if you What happens <laughs> if you don't like your mother? Because you could talk about my yeah. mom's pussy all day long. I'm like, all right, you're probably, you got a good point. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong about that. I mean, if you, I mean, that's just like a little thing when I was a kid, but if you're like old enough, you're like, cool, dude. But if you keep crossing the line and you're getting like on, punching range yeah then we're talking different <laughs> do you what is what is somebody because i i was because i talked to a lot of fighters in my day and it's like what is people don't often challenge you right but how quickly do you ever think about that if somebody fucks with you in like life do you ever think like oh shit i'm a fighter i have to hold myself to oh, a different standard fuck no i fucking <laughs> i step on your head on the ground i swear to god but this is the thing that's a bummer. People, <laughs> that's a bummer. I was hoping you would chill. <laughs> people today get crazy with social media, what they say, but everything comes from a fake account. Nothing really comes from like Luis Gomez saying, hey, I fucking will rape your mom. That that will never happen. It's yeah. a guy. With, uh, <laughs> well, oh, you might. For real, right? for real. You're a okay, comedian. I'm on my third Twitter account, so. <laughs> yeah. But you might, right? Yeah. You're a comedian, but like that would, really doesn't happen. You really see... You didn't never see a truth for like a real person. Yeah, of course. It's, it's a funny thing. To me, that's funny. I, yeah. I, if I read, I'm like, I will laugh. Even if it's the most fucked up thing about me or my family, <laughs> I'm like, cool. that's actually fucked up. <laughs> and I do laugh, but not everybody have the same mind. You know, there's people that see that and get depressed. Yeah. Like, but I mean, if you, if I'm walking on the street and you're across the street and say something, I might flip you and say, you, <laughs> well, come here, but I will keep walking. I'm not going to chase you. Yeah. But if, if I feel somebody like, Really getting Jeez. close to like, <laughs> I don't have time for that shit. Fucking but like, if you get close house. to me and you're saying "fuck you," and I, I mean, like, it happened to Jorge and yeah. Leon. Leon went too close, thinking like, "What do you think is gonna happen?" Yeah. Like, if you get any close, I'm fucking letting it go, <laughs> just in case. Because some people were like, "Oh, I didn't want to punch you. Just want to say fuck you." I'm like, I mean, yeah, that's fighting to me. Yeah. What about what about getting sued? Like, what about if because that's the other thing you figure people are always trying to like this is great. trying to this is set a great some shit up for me, dude. Keep going. I <laughs> mean, this is exactly what I was look, hoping yeah. for. Look what happened to uh, to Jorge. He punched Kobe and he went free. He, they proved he started the, the thing. I mean, you can go online saying some shit about some kids and then expect you to be like, honestly, like, hey, dude, fuck you, but just because the cops won't punch you. I hit you with the Napoleon trailer. True. This Thanksgiving. This Thanksgiving. Remember Napoleon. this for months. Forget the summer, dude. Yeah. Get out of the sun and just hold this in your head. This Thanksgiving, Napoleon Bonaparte. Dude, I'm, right. exci- I'm excited. So enough about my shit. How is, how's hey, the beach? Dude, that's you've an been, epic weekend. You've been pure salt life. 
Dude, I've been so I, I'm a big I love salt life, but dude, I will t- I will tell you, man, having two little kids, it's not so much like diminishes salt life. It's not Margaritaville as much. It's purely just like Conan the Barbarian on the wheel. Oh, just which I do. I can fully get into, too, of just like walking in front of 200 people. It might as well yeah. be a collar around my neck, dude. I just fucking ugh, yeah. just fucking yoke my kids through the hot sand. My wife's like, you need your flip flops. I'm like, nah, it's not even that hot. I'm like, it hurts so I bad. I dig underneath to get the cooler sand Ooh. as I walk. Yeah, it's a little beach trick. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny he says. Uh-huh. I was just watching. Uh, I was on the plane. And I saw somebody watching Fox News, and there was just Fox was just running a thing of Joe Biden at the beach. He couldn't. Him trying to carry a chair. It was like Biden can't carry a chair. That one's was not him his pulling fault. it. Then he's sitting down. They're like Biden couldn't even take his shirt off, and he's like sitting down struggling with it. And then it was him sunbathing. And it was like. Biden gets blasted by the sun. <laughs> was the ticker, and he was like, <laughs> "This is really fucking funny." But it was everybody's it fun to yeah. fault him for getting eighty year old man getting blasted by the sun. Like, he, this guy's skin cells are dissolving yeah. from the radiation from the sun. I can't knock anybody. What a fucking loser! Yeah, I've been. I mean, I was hoping one of you guys would notice how tan I was. You dude. are tan as hell. Yeah, dude. I'm fucking. My family's black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a black family, bro. I told my mom that. My mom was like giving me shit while I was with Maya and Chloe. She's like, did you put sunscreen on them? I'm like, mom, we're black. We are Buzz all black off. now. Buzz off. We're black. You're Drickus. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's Drickus. <laughs> I am the true African. <laughs> yeah, my tan, dude, has been, I've been trying to get pumped on it. You look good. You Thank look very tan. Thank you. I've been, I've been trying to get as tan as hell, dude. My one kid went from like vaguely tan. My t- one kid's black now. Yeah. Totally black. A black ass kid. My black my, kid, <laughs> my fucking black ass daughter. My one kid, totally black. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay in the family, yeah, dude. I'm you trying gotta to stay in the family. family. They're drifting I'm all away. light skin on. I get all Ooh. light skin on. <laughs> if they're get you gotta get you gotta get tan, bro. I know. Because you're gonna look it's gonna look like a I, I know, dude. Although I mean, how cool is that though? Instant celebrity power status, dude. I have a black kid. I have like a full on black kid. You're Angelina Jolie. That's what I'm saying. I was telling Brittany that. I was like, dude, total celebrity status. Yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. These guys saw it far and wide. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Brittany's been teasing me that whole time. Was we walk? I'll be like slugging like a wagon of two kids, and Brittany's like, "Look at your black baby!" And just you see people like, "Oh my god, kid. look at your black baby! You can get that tested now." I wouldn't hold it against. Her. I'm like, "Dude, shut the fuck up!" That's really funny. It is very funny. Good for her. She does it all the time, and she goes, "She goes, the other one looks like a Puerto Rican boy," and everyone's like, "Ha ha ha!" <laughs> yeah. Like, you see white moms like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. "You look like a Puerto Rican boy over here." Don't bring out the black babies. <laughs> 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 it's, it is my favorite thing to see her talking to like a white lady in her neighborhood and Brittany's like yeah my kids over here looking like a Puerto Rican boy and the mom goes ah, yeah I could see that yeah <laughs> but yeah so yeah but dude I've been just like carrying kids into the sun getting fucking I'm basically Biden dude just slugging things like a camel across the fucking dunes yeah we were talking dude, about that the only way the pack the pack there obviously sucks. Yeah. But you're like, all right, I'm here for hours. At least this is gonna be nice at the beach. Yeah. Packing up to go back from the beach. Well then sucks dude, cock. But the thing is you're there, like there's no I have not, dude, I haven't sat in a beach chair the whole time. You can't. Because oh, one yeah. will eat sand immediately. We'll just fucking shovel sand in their mouth. <laughs> and then they both fucking run to the straight to ocean. Sea. They go right to sea like Dunkirk. fucking sea turtles. Dude. <laughs> yeah, they're dunker. They go straight to fucking <laughs> they sea. Just walk out to the sea. And I'll be honest, I let the sea. I, I've seen Moana too many times. Like, maybe it'll choose, choose one of them. They both just got leveled by waves as soon as they walk out. <laughs> fucking yeah, dude, it, it's been fun, though. I, I've been taking my out to swim in the ocean. That's like the funniest shit in the world. It's got to be awesome. Dude, just watching them. Bob, I like showed her how to like kind of bob over waves. I rode a wave in. I thought she'd be pumped. She could give a fuck, dude. Yeah. I rode a wave in, head above water, fucking eye contact. And she was just like, okay. Can I go back out now? And I was like, yeah, all right, come on, let's go. Oh, so you sat your younger, your daughter down and said. I, I had her go with her mom. Behold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, go sit. The silver like, surfer. Go sit with your mom. Poseidon, dude. <laughs> you I was like, Poseidon. <laughs> you rode in with the wave. <laughs> dude, navigated, navigated through an Indian family deftly, dude. Whoa. Above water. She just was like, yeah, cool. Can I go back in now? I was like, yeah, all right, come on, get back in. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun, dude. There's like, dude. 
it, the beach now is international. Jersey Beach was like it was white. There was no yeah. Just this is what it was like. And yeah. dude, it is. I haven't been there in years. I, my glorious return, dude. It's fucking sick now. Dude, engines, full fucking full garments swimming. There's ladies in like, dude, full fucking head wraps and sarongs. <laughs> just yeah. just Girl, like we dude, about that. they lay. Yeah. They, but dude, now it's like I, I saw the Muslim babes now, and they do it even better. The Indians are a little more like modernized and they'll have yeah. like jeans and shit on. Dude, the Muslim babes have this flowy garb. And they lay in the tide with their fucking cell phones and just and their husbands beckon them. They go, come on, come on, come in. And dude, every time their husbands jump a wave, they go, they jump a wave and they look back at their wives and go, and their wives are just like laying there. Just like, yeah. it's the funniest thing in the world. Oh, he jumps over and just looks, looks back at his wife. And he goes, come on out. And they, they just go, they just lay there like they sirens. say no. Ooh. No, they won't. They, resi- they like walked in waist deep and they ran. They're terrified of the waves. They ran away. Makes sense. Yeah, dude. The husband, this, it was, yeah, I, I saw him out of sea. He saw me with my daughter out. Like, we go out pretty far. And he was like, she's very brave. He got like real. He started close talking to her. I was like, right, dude, in, in the ocean. Close the fuck up. Swimming close. This is a Muslim dude in a G unit wife beater. This is a Muslim dude in like a G unit. unit. It was like a weird yeah, cut wife beater. Yeah. Dude, it was crazy. He, swam. he was being really friendly, but he had the most intense gaze. He's like, she's very brave. And I'm like, yeah, all right, dude. Yeah, yeah. She's not passionate about any of those causes to get out of here. I thought he sized her up. He just, she was wearing a float vest. Oh, no. Nice. Might have been like. Fits well. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a very friendly man. Close and, talking at sea is fucking. Dude, he came, is, he came like inches from us. That is scary. I was like, what the fuck? What is this guy? Yeah. Dude, he's a fucking scared you're shit. You're touch feet because you're both. It was, dude, it was that. I kept like. It'd still be it's scary. It'd it be was scary dude. touching anything underwater. Dude, is so and this scary. guy had the most intense gaze, and it was him. And it was like <laughs> it was him and two Somalian dudes. Oh, I kept, I they kept, were taking it. They were. I kept calling him Boko Haram. Boko Haram. <laughs> fucking Boko Haram. <laughs> She's very brave. I was like, yeah, man, very brave, very brave. The garb, just rocking jeans at the beaches. Oh, dude. The jeans are too funny. That's that's like Indians. These are these are the Muslims. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. I was praying to God they didn't clash. They could have clashed. The Hindus clash. and the Muslims could have clashed. And I said, they got guys, their hands on some sticks. I don't- <laughs> <laughs> if there was any sticks down there, they'd start running. Yeah, the slap run, the slap. Thing. <laughs> I was nervous all weekend. I said, I hope the Hindus and Muslims don't clash on the beach. Dude. They could, dude. Nah, it was just peace. Everyone, it was not. It was just peace, dude. There was the the lads were there. And they were, they were blasting the lad music, dude. And the youngest was dancing to the lad music. Dude, they were tickle pink. Yeah. I was even, I finally felt the fucking lad music. It never penetrated lad my soul. Lad music at the beach is probably pretty sick. It never penetrated my soul. That's when you chuck your fucking They're pager. The most, throw your pager straight out to sea. It's corona oh, time. Dude, I'm telling you, they might be the most salt life. Yeah. I would listen to that shit on construction sites and be like, this is fucking circus music. Yeah. So it makes it, would, it didn't move a single cell in my body, dude. It was Tom I, forgot, and, I forgot you called it circus. It was music. a Tom and Jerry soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> fucking put it on and be like, what is this? You get out of beach and you're like, I started feeling it, dude. My hips started to fucking just a little bit. I was in the sand. I was going. It's fucking tight. I think that's that's also UFC is a great. Yeah. When you hear somebody uh, come out to Mexican music, you're like, ooh. Yeah, true. Somebody was, comes out to something cool. Yeah. Before them. Somebody comes out to like. Many men by fifty cent. Yeah, you're like damn, that's awesome. And then you hear the fucking circus music, and you're like, "Holy <laughs> shit, who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting pumped to this." Just... It's <laughs> insane, <laughs> especially when you're like, yeah. it's like yelling. It's like, oh, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah, yeah, dude. I flew. When's the last time you flew a kite, dude? Years. Exhilarating. Yeah, when you get that thing up there, yeah, it's tough to get up. I mean, I, I brought my whole family oh, down. You gotta run, dude. I ran it. We first we tried on a crowded beach in the hot, like the hottest of the suns in the hottest sand, and I failed to get a kite in the air. Oh, I thought of it. The Indians probably walked straight over that, dude. Nothing, like bro. hot coals. Nothing, dude. It's nothing to them. They move over. Like, yeah, you know Indians walk on hot coals. Yeah, dude. All right. If they they just skitter across it like yeah. scorpions, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, they yeah, they're, they're totally unfaced. Dude, I was I was burning my feet in the hot sand trying to get a kite up in the air, running like the around sun. like people sitting. No, I, I stayed here. I kept this at the back, almost okay. near the dunes. But it's still, I was just like the entrance of the beach, yeah. running this thing, and it's being like, dude, they're just fighting with Britain. Like, oh. You don't know everything, but just because you flew a fucking kite, you just let me try it my way. 
failed to get it up in there. We had to go back. I was like, it's too crowded. We got to go back. <laughs> we, we came back later. Dude, I got this. I didn't know you're not supposed to let a kite. Like, I let all the string out. Yeah. I thought you're supposed to. She's like, no, you're not supposed to do that. Dude, this thing was high as fuck. I sent a kite so fucking high yeah. into the air. And it was, I was like getting nervous. I was the fact that I was attached to something that high in the air. I was just like, oh, I was so scared. I was so scared, dude. I could see how that'd be scared. Dude, they can fucking take off when when you were like on the crowded beach and it would like crash near people. And you're like, I'm so sorry. Because the kite crash is fucking hard. Probably startled some of those Muslims. True. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, dude? <laughs> I wonder if they, you know how they always have fly flyovers at the beach? <laughs> <laughs> if they do that in Jersey, people are going to be like, Raw! <laughs> they have them really constantly. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, dude, we, uh, dude, I so badly wanted to cut the string and just let that guy go free. It was so fucking high in the air. You should. And I just sit there and un- I had to rewind. I'm like, actually, Brittany wound it back, brought it back to earth. I was like, I can't, I can't bring this thing back down. You ever see that parasailer get? They released the parasailer. Really? Yeah, there's a guy, he's, he- he's up too high and a storm's coming. And they're just like, somehow he, the rope breaks and he just, he floats oh. into the land. <laughs> he floats. He's gone. He's dead? He's too high. I mean, I don't know if he died, but that he was on a parachute in a storm in Florida. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway. Damn, what ha- do they show him land or crash? Or no, s- it's somebody from a hotel balcony filming. He's out at sea. Oh, he just goes out He's of out at sea and there's like jet skis chasing him, like trying to figure out how to get him down. And then the rope snaps and he just floats over the hotel. Yeah, dude, that's power line station, dude. Yeah, it's going right. It's a there. shit way to fucking go. Oh, it's a very scary way to go. Anyway, just being f- flying because there's a huge part of you that's like feet in the air. I got this. I'm going to yeah. survive this. I just got to float right back down the ground. It's like highways, <laughs> yeah, power highways. lines, <laughs> straight to a fucking truck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I land right on top of that thing, though. Did he live? Yeah, he survived. What? Yeah, he was in the hospital. I found a video. His name's Sydney Good. <laughs> yeah, all right. Name the man. Sydney Good. Sydney Good. Shout out, Sydney. You did it, Say baby. Say his fucking name. Good job, Sydney. Did he go back and do it again? Uh, recounts Pell saying, he, yeah, five years later. <laughs> he he said, went back and did it again? again? Yeah. Good call that that would be included in the article, Matt. That was just, just natural. That was great intuition. Yeah. You do have a journalist mind. I, uh, Not in an insult way. No, no, no. I hear. I'm like yes. more of a Matt the BBs. You're, about more, you're more of a Matt. It's not gay. Not at all. Lemony milk. I like a lemony milk shot in my fucking throat. (laughs) I got oh yeah, my land home. Fuck me, dude. I was telling you, I got a. I have an empty house. I have no shit. They took my my stuff like a week ago. Yeah, I didn't know when you move. They take your all your shit. Like I thought they take it the day before you move. Like all right, we'll catch you down there. They take it like fucking like ten days before you go. (laughs) My whole house is empty, dude. There's nothing in there. We're living like crackheads in my house. Air mattresses. Perfect. Air mattresses. Folding plastic table, and we just that's it. And the dude, I'm like, dude, you get all this shit for your kids, and you're like, they you, they truly don't need any of it. They yeah. are chilling in there, dude, in an empty house, no couch, no TV, having a good time. It's probably fun. It's a blast. I thought it'd be kind of fun, but like, dude, they uh, it's fucked up because you're like, yeah, I gotta like work, I gotta like get stuff. The like, kids don't give a fuck. It's yeah. just a thing you say so you can go do cool stuff, dude. They don't care at all. They could give a fuck. We have the TV hurts. I can't. I was trying to hit her today. Like, dude, I we got to get our TV back. I got to go yeah. to work so I can get my TV back. She was kind of like, she like just laughed. She's like, "Where did our TV go?" I'm like, "The movers took they it." They took it. She goes, "What?" And she's like, "Can we watch Sons on your laptop?" I'm like, "Yeah, we can watch Peppa Pig on my laptop." And she's like, "All right, sick." They don't give a fuck yeah. about any of this shit in your house. Did you think like I'm gonna get them this? They could care less. Yeah. She's on the air mattress. Like, nice. She has one toy. She has one doll. She's like, sick. Yeah, that's. So what kids have been entertained with for yeah, the dawn dude. of time until dude, now. I'm, I'm getting rid of all this shit. Once we move, I'm like, I'm going to give that stuff away because they don't need any stuff. You just give them one thing and just like let yeah. them pretend they're give beating. Them a ball. Just let them pretend they're beating you up for half an hour and they're like, dude, that was awesome. Yeah. Oh, dude, you kicked my ass. <laughs> That's all I've been doing. It's crazy. It's been You let her win in Street Fighter though? I did, dude. I'm telling you I let her win. I let her win in Street Fighter. We will play MK, dude. We will see. <laughs> We will play MK, dude, and you will see what's going on. I suck at MK. It's, I mean, it's my it's worst just, game by a mile. MK? You I get pretty, you're nice with Sub-Zero. No, I suck at it. You, with Sub, you, you come back. From what I remember, you start, become a, you start to become a formidable opponent with Sub-Zero. I'm not blowing smoke. De, de Los Muertos, Sub-Zero. 
True. Did you see that? No, what? Spooky Skeleton Sub Zero is in the game. What? If it's in the game, it's, it's EA. I thought you were just sports. saying, like, he's a spooky spell. I'm like, yeah, he's no, definitely he's DLC. Literally, Spooky Skeleton Sombrero Sub Zero. I, I think Sub, Sub Zero was kind of Spanish, wasn't he? I'm going off the movie. No, but... I think he's Japanese. You're right. You're right about that. Right? He's Japanese, yeah, for sure. Lemare, who's Lemare's got to be an MK expert. I believe some zero is of the Lin Kuei clan. <laughs> yeah. That might be Scorpion, though. Let me... Weren't they brothers or something? No, they're enemies. Their clans are mortal enemies. Uh, okay, for sure. Yeah. Sub Zero does have a brother who was Sub Zero before him. All yeah, his Mortal he... Kombat, nobody ever dies. Well, everybody dies. They just reboot it so everybody comes back every time. Yeah, yeah. no one dies. Yeah, nobody nobody dies. Yeah. Sub Zero is of the Lin Kuei. Yes. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah. What's what's Scorpion? Scorpion, uh I'm a Lin Kuei guy. I like the Lin Kuei. His name's, his name's, I think he's like Hori Times. I can't remember. <laughs> Pator, he's the Scorpion is from the Kami Bayushi. Really? Yeah. Fuck, I thought Scorpion, was Scorpion Link Link. No, no, that's the wrong thing. I thought, yeah, I thought Scorpion was like something similar to Lin Kuei. Yeah. Scorp Dynasty. Uh, Shirai was, Ryu. Was, Shirai Ryu. Yeah. I was big on Reptile when he came out. He was nasty. I always admired I was Reptile from the distance. Big on Reptile. I people do the back back forward acid spit. That was always a nice move. I hit the acid spit in Miami <laughs> in, the, in the shower. <laughs> you went back back forward. Yeah. What was that? It was a package. Nice. Something nice. I hope it's something nice. That'd be nice to get a package. I haven't got a package. I hope it's an adult well. toy. Oh my god! That I can dude. shove straight up my diarrhea ass. Oh my god. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. I mean, dude, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, we could get, I mean, Paul's obviously on this, but like separately, we could get so freaky. Yeah. I don't know why I don't have tech involved in my sex life. I could be vibrating. My whole body could be vibrating as I have sex. <laughs> I could be like plugging into sex sounds. It'd be crazy. Yeah. It's kind of bullshit that I'm just I mean, not, either way, you're going to nut. The nut feels good. I'm, bro, does it ever. And then you don't have the shame of, I can't believe I brought a vibrator into this. <laughs> the nut's still going to feel like a fucking cool thing yeah what if you didn't like obviously stick the vibrator on your ass what if you just lay <laughs> what if you just laid it on your belly <laughs> feels good <laughs> nah, that feels good too i know dude vibrating feels awesome yeah at any point your bottom of your feet oh my god that'd be fantastic you remember that massager that i had mm -hmm. that was out here where that is it? how it's disappeared yeah <laughs> 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 I put it on my schlong. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. And it felt. Damn, you're probably like the dude from the fucking Pacific. You're the dude from the Pacific. Just. Yeah, I'm vaceline that thing. People were looking at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> you're carrying it around outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have any. Yeah, I had to cast that thing in the Mordor. Did you really? Yeah. No. It was too powerful. I'm off the porn again. You're off the, you're off the, off the porn again. Two weeks. I sound like a I didn't huge... know you're back on. When I was back on. What were you getting into? Everything. I was getting. I mean, My man. For the sake, of, I was getting. I into, like when you're on. I was into everything. You know me. I like when you're pleasuring. I was pleasuring, but it, it becomes a point where I, I start to hollow myself out. I'm like, dude, this is just. I, I have. I have to just chill. Yeah. Because at first I'm like, yeah, whatever, no big deal. And then you know. Oh, I know when you slip. What? On those road trips when the fam's not home. Oh yeah, dude. When they're not with you. I just... tell. I tell Brittany too. She's like, do you like look at? I'm like, yes. Every single, she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, yeah, like. Think of the worst thing you can think of sexually. Constantly. That's what I'm in a hotel room looking at. Dude, she goes, <laughs> ew, really? And I'm like, yeah, like I can't yeah. fall asleep. She was like, we, oh my God, you just have to fall asleep? And I'm like, yes. Yeah. What do you think I'm doing? I was like, that's why I want to bring Jackson on the road with me, dude. I want to bring Jackson on the road and just snuggle him, dude. I would just, uh -huh. I'd be able to fall asleep so much better if I could snuggle Jackson. Jackson's probably jacking off too much true that's why he's going blind on it <laughs> he might be <laughs> <laughs> i want to start bringing him and it's fucking coming back it'd be so nice to come back to him you want to bring a dog on the yeah. road just bring him let him chill i would walk him tire so him crazy out. why that'd be so fun you're bring a dog on a flight i'm about to i told you i know but double dog if he does this easily he's a double dog there <laughs> I mean, you're the, i'm bringing two dogs two kids you're on a flight bring two dogs two kids on a flight you're gonna shit on the flight i'll have diarrhea you're hopefully. gonna be the ultimate menace <laughs> <laughs> i'd be fucking furious dude. i know we're the very first row recline your seat immediately oh i have to 
Well, dude, there's also there's going to be a potential. Where are you these dogs? They're, I'm in the front row, so they have room to lay down in front of us. And Jackson, hopefully, will sit in my lap. We're going to be the first thing people see when they get on the airplane. They're going to see two kids, two dogs, my wife. And they're going to come on and go, what the fuck? People are going to be furious, dude. And then Brittany's requi- going to inquire about a seat change. You should say you're an air marshal. I mean, you should I'm, be like, I'm these not dogs allowed to say. are security dogs. All, I'm, I'm not, not allowed, allowed to tell say. you. And I did buy them security. I bought them uh, security vests. Vests on the off of Amazon, like medical. They're gonna rip the vests off themselves. <laughs> 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 I bought, them, I bought the medical dog vests from the air, from Amazon. <laughs> you gotta get them. Uh, get them Xanax, I'm, I'm dude. Knock bl- these fucking dogs out. I'm gonna give them a Benadryl. A Benadryl, yeah. you can hit them with. I'm gonna have them blind. They're gonna have. <laughs> I'm the, his surface animal. They're gonna. Have, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm gonna You're be gonna your dog Benadryl. I'm gonna yank it. I'm like, stop acting blind, dude. Fuck. Yeah. He's gonna have an allergic re- He's gonna foam at the mouth and have a seizure <laughs> midair. I'm gonna test. I'm gonna test drugs on him early. I'm gonna test him on him. I think Monday. I'm gonna test drugs you on. You got microdose and Benadryl. He is just a nerd to his core. And he's so horned up that now he's got drugs and stuff. Where he's true. Like, I can just have all my nerd boners. <laughs> oh, I would have so many nerd, nerd boners. He's just growing up with the most vicious boners. It's a sweaty nerd boner. I mean, a nerd boner. I, I got to witness a nerd boner in science class in high school. Oh, kid, when? kid had to give a presentation. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it was one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah, like, it's your turn, and he was like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "Did you do it or not?" And he's like, "Please don't make me." Oh no! And then the teacher was like, "Get up here! What are you doing?" You need a boner. Rock hard. Oh my god! And he was a what nerd. He didn't know how to talk. Khakis, dude. Oh. It was a Catholic school. He was wearing khakis and a sweater vest. He was the hardest, the fuck? The hardest oh. boner you've ever seen. And he had like a oh. gr- growth. He he was small. He was a small man. Yeah. He was a little tiny guy with a giant cock. <laughs> oh, he did have a huge crazy. boner. It was like a huge boner. And he stood there and was just like, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. And he tried to do the presentation. <laughs> did the teacher, did the teacher? Yeah, the, the teacher noticed. Uh, yeah. Did she call it? Like, go up. Yeah, she was like, oh, I'm sorry. You can sit down. You can sit down. But he was he was up there for a minute. He, we'll, we'll see you in about five to seven minutes. Yeah, yeah, he caught, he caught some ridicule. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nightmare, <laughs> dude. A, 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 like intimidatingly big boner in khaki pants, and this little tiny guy that was so embarrassed of it. Like, I'm so sorry. Because there's a moment like, where that boner's locked in, in front of the class, where she goes, whatever his name is, yeah. she calls him, and he's like, "No, nah, this can't be happening." Yeah. Oh, Give me a second. I can't go up. <laughs> oh my god. Especially if he had talked. He didn't, he, know the, might have he didn't gotten, have enough friends to know the talk man. What if it oh, breached? What if you well, talked in a breach? I breached. <laughs> oh, dude, a little breach. You guys have peekaboo? Yeah. Just Loch Ness monster, dude. Um, just, yeah. Yeah, when you see the yeah, underside of the fire to, helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Washington in his wig. Insane helmet. <laughs> yeah, when you see the split. Yeah. The penal split. We got our own V. We do. It's right under the nice head. one. True that. But, dude, if he put it under there and was like. <sighs> but if you. If, Dude, if you got caught talking, that's what I'm saying. That thing would have passed the belly button on that guy. Yeah, that would have looked, looked like it a puppet been, it show. Been crazy. It would have been crazy. elbow down, sticking out like it. Yeah, like at a swim up bar. It would have had an elbow down <laughs> yeah. on the bar. It would have kickstands. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, dude, dude that guy. Either, wonderful. Can you track that man? Because I want to know yeah. if he went on to great success or mm. a life of villainy like Diddy. True. He was such a sweet boy with a huge hog. Yeah. The cock of gold. <laughs> There's probably some angel just milking it now, being like, "It's oh, over, forget yeah. it, it's over." Just get him two-handed hand drives, be like, "Don't worry about no, it." Oh yeah, do double cranks, <laughs> and then making him give presentations so he gets hard. Like that's his kink now. <laughs> he's got to go do book reports for, her, and he's like, "I can't." She goes, "Stand up." He's like, "Oh god, <laughs> god, you drive me wild, dude." I walked into a horror scene on an airplane bathroom. Basically, not nothing to do with boners. It's the opposite. It was a young lady getting her period, and she didn't lock the door. So I like opened the door. Jesus! And I just hear, ah! and I was like, slam it shut. And the, the stewardess just instinctively just like stared at me, like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I was like, "It wasn't locked." I just, and she was like, "Oh, she's like, that's not your fault. Don't worry." So then I was like, "All right." And I just went back to my seat. I'm like, "I'm not going to stand here." And yeah, wait you for can't you. stand. So I sat back. I didn't fucking pee too. So I'm just sitting there in my seat, like. Uh, and the one guy was like, what was that? I'm like, oh, someone was in there. I was like, you can go if you want. You can go. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you can go yeah. That's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Dude, so what did you, see? What'd you see when you were in there? It was, I didn't even know there was, that the person was so young, but I just saw like, just someone hunched over. 
Yeah. Which is like, I've walked in on people in the bathroom before. And it's like, would you rather be walked in on or the walk or the person walking in? Walking on? in on. Walked. I'd rather be the person walking in. Yeah. Than discovered. I would never want to be discovered. Discovered is so embarrassing. Dude. You're the you're prey. She, you gotta go, oh. Yeah, nope, dude. Someone's in here. <laughs> Occupied. Dude, she for real screamed like I had like a butcher knife and I was yeah. gonna kill her. And I didn't know like the period stuff was going on. I was just kind of like, I just literally looked and was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And just saw somebody like. Wiping themselves basically. I didn't catch any gens or anything. How did you know it was a period thing then? So, dude, so then I finally, it's my, so the dude, the, <laughs> so, dude. I've never, <laughs> I've, I've never seen, so I'm sitting there like reading a book, like with my peripheral, and, the, and I see someone just fucking storm out. And it was like, they're in there for like 15 minutes. How bad did storm, you have to pee at this point? Pretty badly. Yeah. But I'm sitting there like, all right, whatever. And all of a sudden, poof, storm down the aisle. I don't even look, but they were thudding like fast walking. Yeah. So then I go into pee and I'm at the fucking, there's this huge glob of toilet paper, just blooded, dude. Oh. And then it's sticking to the side. So I did, oh. I tried to do the favor. You pissed all over. Did the honor of peeing it down. Yeah. Wouldn't budge, dude. So Damn. I'm like, what the that's, fuck? So I hit the flush. It's not flushing. I go, oh my God. That's uterine lining grabbing onto those walls. <laughs> that thing was grabbing on the side of her walls and now it's now it's, it thinks its new home is that fucking <laughs> toilet. <laughs> Dude, I go out and I, I tell the lady, I'm like, the lady who like saw me get discovered yeah. basically, I was like, yo, that wasn't me. I was like, I was trying to be discreet, being like, I think she got like her period in there. It's pretty nasty. It won't flush. Yeah. And I was, she was like, oh, okay. And I was just like, <laughs> you just get misogynistic. You, I don't know how you animals walk around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody coozes. Yeah, fucking We're gunk. up in the air. You're lucky there's no sky bears. <laughs> I don't trust any of you, frankly. This whole plane could be <laughs> fucked. Dude, so I was like, and then I don't know why, but I was like, so like, what do you get? Like a stick and like push it? I was just curious. Like, how yeah. do you, <laughs> you knock do you it have down? a period stick back there? <laughs> She's like, oh, I'll just pour coffee on it. I was like, oh, brilliant. So then, so then I get out. <laughs> That's a toxic ball of piss. Dude, it was blood and coffee at it this was point. Terrible. It was disgusting. <laughs> but then a younger girl comes up, a different lady, comes up and then goes to the bathroom, comes out loudly and goes, "Ew, someone got their period in there." Oh. And I'm sitting there like, "Oh my god, this poor fucking lady." Oh no! You uh, just hear from back of the booth. <laughs> dude it was it was pretty terrible That's a terrible thing that for that girl. Oh, uh, it was a, it was a horrible experience for this girl. You want to talk? This is. You know about this. This I was on Bonfire this week. Mm -hmm. Speaking of period sticks to push things down, Bobby and his son. Do you know this? No. Bobby breaks up his son's giant turds because they're too big. <laughs> Dude. He's a dragon slayer. He's 10. Wait, hold on. His Wait. son's 10. What? He has to break the poops up? Yes. He, I saw photos of these logs. Oh, my God. His son drops logs. Like a mine. That are so big. What? That his dad has to come in after him and break them up with his clean up a squad. shit stick. He has a cleanup crew. He, he literally gets done shitting and is like, Dad, get <laughs> in there. Stick. And Bobby Kelly gets up and breaks his son's shit. With a stick. With a fucking stick. So that it can flush. Yes. How fat are the turds? The turds are fucking massive. You see the pics? Yes. Bobby showed me a pic. Are they speckled like a corn cob? Or no, they this one thing's thing? solid. It's a brick. <laughs> it's it's right fucking now, crazy. His son drops full Chipotle <laughs> burrito size. Oh, my like a fucking <laughs> It's crazy. But also to be the spotter for it. <laughs> and that's, I'm like, Bobby. You, your son has to break up his shit. Yeah. yeah. You can't. That's the weirdest. <laughs> that's the fucking weirdest thing <laughs> I've ever also heard. Also, what, what are his own? So disgust. I know. He dominates his father. He goes, hey, dad. my I just discarded all my old food. <laughs> Make <laughs> well, it flush. What's the stick, though? I don't know what he uses. It'd be funny if it was like one of those like free hockey sticks to give out or like a, <laughs> one of those baseball bats on like bat day. He goes, yeah, go grab that fucking Sox bat from I when mean, we went to Fenway. It'd be nice to be a samurai sword. He just goes, Tch. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, Bushido code. <laughs> Max, take a dump. I caught you up. I caught up Max, a dump. Max, a son. Max, a son. Max, a son. Yo, dump on too big of a order it. That Dude, was, that's crazy to shit. Yeah. That kid's not going to know satisfying anything if you're dropping logs that big because you got to drop yeah. a log like that and you're like, ah. Yeah, <laughs> that's Dude. his baseline. That's crazy. That's baseline. I just, uh, nobody seems to be as upset as me. It's yeah, pretty no, wild. Cause I, you can't. You know that. what it is? Yeah. You that's the fucking creepiest, weirdest thing ever. You have a really, because you know what? And I was serious. Bobby's like, what, dude? What you're you picturing mean? saying it to Phil. That's no, why it's like, think of going to a kid's house for a sleepover and him and his dad. That is weird. Tag team shits to flush them. That is weird. 
He tags his dad in to fucking finish the job. How old is his boy again? He's 10 now. 10's old enough to slay your own territory. I'm sorry. Past five, if you're having dump problems with the piping, you get. That's all, that should be on you the whole time. You should be yeah. embarrassed to take that to your father. Yeah. he's. I brought that up as well, and Bobby said he was proud of it. The big turds? Yeah, I, and then I, I, saw, I saw a picture of the turd, and I was like, that is something. Yeah. I get it. Because for a second, you're like, what are you, the fucking bear family from the Charmin commercials? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck's in here fucking but, talking about pooping as openly as this fucking people? <laughs> that is, I can't get over how weird that is. Yeah, what's weird is, I want, is it's fine with it. I want to know what the play call is. I want to know if he's like, dad, poop, or if he goes like, yeah, yeah. break it up. <laughs> break it up. We got a breaker. <laughs> Go breaker. We got a beached whale. Yeah, it dude. looks like a beached whale. It's, it really? it, dude, it lays on the bowl. <laughs> that is surface from dude. It's a massive turd. You tell me most of his turds breach. It, a single log breach. It's laying down. It's a beach whale. It's Does laying. Does he share these, or is he just flashing you from his phone? He showed me it. I could probably. I can. Yeah, I can see it. Try to get him. To send you a picture. And of what he turds. talked about this publicly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If it was, if it was cleared on the I, bonfire, I get where he's coming from, coming from, breaking them up, and like you know, but once they're ten, you got to hand. It's got to be like a ceremony where you yeah. knight them with the shit stick. Yeah, <laughs> you knight them. <laughs> yeah. You Hold break on. your turds. Oh, now. Just call, Bob. It's changing of the guards. He called me, and I didn't call him back. He's gonna be mad at me. Thank you, Mister. That fucking asshole. He's like, dude, I'm not oh, gonna break. Look it. at his fucking picture now. He's yeah, got yeah. a skinny ass face. Hot, Bobby. <laughs> Damn. 